Firstly and most importantly is to install the requirements. Python 3.7 is an easy install added to the system path. Microsoft C++ framework caused problems to install. Restart your com with no programs running and it'll finally install. Install all the versions. Open a Windows CMD as admin and type pip install TensorFlow, TensorFlow Hub, TensorFlow CPU, TensorFlow MKL, Intel TensorFlow. If you have an AMD CPU search for AMD TensorFlow download. This installs TensorFlow to your system. Hit return and it'll install. Open GitHub page and download real-time voice cloning zip by Corentin from the link below. Download the zip. Save it to your downloads folder and extract it there. Download FFmpeg unzip and run the 3exe in full build 125 megabytes. FFmpeg is here. Copy FFmpeg and paste it in real-time voice cloning folder. Download and unzip the pre-trained models from the link below. Use Google Drive or Dropbox. Go into the pre-trained models and copy the three files. Copy the three files. Go to real-time voice cloning and paste the three pre-trained model files. Open Windows CMD as administrator. Create environment. Name yours accordingly. Activate environment. Type all below to upgrade pip. Update setup tools needed. Intel TensorFlow for Intel CPU only. Copy link. Install PyTorch for Python use pip. Install correct version. Paste link and install PyTorch in your environment. Edit requirements.txt. Next is install requirements. Type below. Type demo toolbox.py and hit return. Open Windows CMD as administrator. Activate environment. CD into real-time voice cloning folder. Type python demo underscore toolbox.py. Check here for errors. Here is a layout of how it works. Synthesize and vocode is best to use edit effects embedding spectrogram and projection ignore these buttons till data sets are loaded browse samples folder synthesize with pre-trained model and that you are resolved to submit with resignation to that decision whatever it might be Welcome to the toolbox to begin load and utterance from your datasets or record one yourself. Once its embedding has been created, you can synthesize any text written here. A. Download Libri speech dataset. I selected this one 337 MB. Next, make a folder in real time voice cloning. Name it. Mine is user audio. Open it as you must copy in Libri speech here. Daverny rushed towards the old man and made him inhale a powerful restorative. Copy Libri speech over to real-time voice cloning. Edit with idle underscore init underscore pi to make Libri speech work. Add a new line here with the folder name of your Libri speech data set. Mine is user audio slash Libri speech, needs exclamations and the comma at the end. X out and save. Start the program with Libri speech data set installed, type below. You can add your own data set you want to clone to Libri speech, my next video deals with modified data sets.